Hey y'all, welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I'm doing a monthly tarot for all earth signs. That's Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And it's for the month of June. Keep in mind, you guys, that the timing is fluid. So if it fails to resonate with you for June, it still may resonate with you. I am a true believer that if you are here, there is something that you need to hear. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm starting with the Work Your Light Oracle. Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides, angels, and God. What do all earth signs need to know for the month of June? All right, earth signs, the crumbling, the crumbling is coming. All right. Now I'm using the Angel Oracle deck. Thank you, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, and God. What do our earth signs need to know for the month of June 2021? All right. The angels are telling you all meditation brings answers. Okay, let's go ahead and get into some tarot. Thank you, angels, ancestors, spirit, guys, and God. What do all earth signs need to know for the month of June? Let's get some clarification on the crumbling and meditation brings answers. I think those two say a lot. It's about to crumble, and you need to just meditate to keep your mind clear. Okay, earth signs? All right. Okay. The current situation in the heart of the matter for you, Earth signs, Ten of Pentacles. All right. And that's starting off the block with you. What's crossing you all, Earth signs? The Five of Pentacles. Okay. More Earth energy. And the root of the matter, Six of Pentacles. All right. More Earth. Now, your recent past energies, Nine of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. And now, your possible outcome, page of swords. Time to get some writing going. Now, the immediate future, knight of wands. All right, fire energy. And now, this is you, earth signs. Judgment. All right. Your environment, the empress. Your hopes and your fears. Seven of Swords and the Outcome Energy. Two of Wands. Time to take a journey. All right, Earth Signs. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. The Crumbling. Now that is an inquiry card. What are you clinging on to? There is a shift happening right now where everything inauthentic can no longer survive. Relationships, jobs, social structures, anything built on shaky ground is destined to tumble. It's happening to bring you back home to who you truly are, both individually and to society as a whole. So you can live life with that so you can live a life that is in alignment with who you truly are. When you're in the thick of it, it can feel like a personal attack from the universe. Have faith because the difficult times will be your defining moment. You will be reborn in the fire. You are being called to surrender, to stop trying to hold it all together, to loosen your grip, to let the crumbling occur. It may be difficult at first, but in the end, the sooner you let go, the sooner the rebirthing will occur. What are you trying to hold together? What are you doing your best to avoid? How are you trying to pretend everything is okay? You have what it takes to allow what is falling away to tumble and fall. Once the tower has crumbled, you will be able to rebuild your home on solid ground with, with mighty foundations 
and a view that is so magnificent that it will take your breath away each new morn. Kali, the goddess of destruction, and the Black Madonna are with you now. Lay it all on their altar. They can hold it all. What are you clinging to for fear of nothing to take its place? All right. Now meditation brings answers, okay? Man, I just love when these readings go like that. Like, literally. Boom, boom. First two cards letting you know what's up. Okay, trying to come up with an intellectual answer to your concerns hasn't been successful. That's because the solutions you seek can only be found by going within. Through meditation or inner spiritual work, you may also gather insights from your nighttime dreams. As your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available to your waking mind. All right, now we come into Ten of Pentacles and that's money. That's you, it's earth energy. This giant gently spinning disco ball of material wealth is all about enjoying the movement and shaking you've done and sharing the sparkle with family and friends. The Ten of Pentacles carries the emotional quality of everyone's dream retirement. You're comfortable with what you have. You're satisfied with what you did to get here. And now a bunch of cool aliens are promising you eternal life. Wait a minute. Subtract the plot of Cocoon and you still have a pretty great vibe. The Ten of Pentacles is a beacon of light that casts a bright future for you and the generations doing a ledger slide behind you. And FYI, it doesn't preclude the alien thing could happen. Here's the affirmation. I count my blessings and gladly share them with my loved ones. But remember, I have counted them, so I'll be able to tell how many you take. Okay, now going to what's crossing you, which is the five of pentacles, like you were stuck with without money. Certainly not a basket of rose petals. The five of pentacles is the hallmark card that says, sorry about your financial problem and or general feeling of pervasive scarcity. The real message here is that it's time for you to take your eyes off your empty wallet and reconnect to the richness of non-material things. You'll soon remember that loving relationships don't cost a thing, except when you have to take them to Disneyland. And human existence is full of tiny things to be grateful for, like garage sales, where you could probably earn 10 bucks for that empty wallet. Here's the affirmation. I am rich in love and adventures, which bring me a never ending stream of spiritual wealth. Let me know if you want to buy some precious memories. Okay, now going to this root of the matter is the Six of Pentacles. You're giving it all away, but now let me stop. This is a big financial thumbs up, indicating success, wealth, and abundance of all shapes and sizes. Not to mention the Santa level spirit of giving that con comes with it. If you're currently experiencing a healthy cash flow, this card reminds you to give generously to others, knowing it will eventually come back. If you're strapped for cash, this card indicates that someone else's kindness is headed your way. In both cases, you can remember that we're all better off when we look out for each other. Did you hear that, Uncle Gene? Here's the affirmation. I'm grateful for the abundance in my life and share it generously, paying it forward, back and even sometimes diagonally okay now your recent past energies is the nine of swords stressing 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 yikes it looks like you're hacking your way through a force of negative emotions that are all sprouted from the same seed over worrying what started as basic workaday anxiety about the future seems to have worked itself up into a paralyzing web of panic apocalyptic despair, and relentless self-torment. The good news is these feelings have absolutely nothing to do with actual reality. In other words, relax. This is all your fault. See that? Relentless. The solution? Take a few hundred deep breaths and notice that not only are you fine, if not fine and a half, in this moment, your little mental shop of horrors isn't doing anything for anyone, least of all you. So go easy on yourself. Watch a Pixar movie and save the despair from when things actually hit the fan. Here's the affirmation. My life is better than I realize. 
So I stir a heaping cup of trust into this foreboding angst soup. Really brings out the coriander. Okay, now what is your possible outcome is the page of swords. It's time to get to writing. The page of swords ushers in a new challenge. Focused on words and ideas. Interpreted literally, this could mean you've just started writing a novel or perhaps accepted a job as an etymology professor. But more often than not, it simply means you're facing a big task and you're about to wet your pants with either fear or excitement. Harness this anxious energy and use it. Sure, your brain is abuzz with an unruly swarm of thoughts, but the right shaped funnel can pour them into your work in a constructive way. Craft your ideas with care and discipline, and you'll have nothing to fear except those pee pee pants. Here's the affirmation I fear nothing. I conquer everything. I won't stop for anything. Okay? Now you're moving on to the the uh, possible the immediate future which is the knight of wands and that's fire energy my bad y'all probably need to get a bigger typo anyone hear that invasive crash ah uh, yes the knight of wands has just burst into your life like the kool-aid man and begun shouting into a megaphone what announcement is so important it warrants shouting and a megaphone? An exciting change that's entering your life so swiftly, you'll have no choice but to dive in head first. It might be wise to include a little look before that leap, or at minimum, a cursory glance. Impulsiveness is fun and adventurous, but not if it leads to unforeseen consequences. In other words, enjoy the jump, but pack a parachute. Here's the affirmation. I throw my arms around new exploits and ride them wherever they take me while also wearing an appropriate regulation safety harness. Okay, now we're coming on to you, which is judgment to major arcana number 20. Imagine you're at the end of your life. Looking back on this moment with total clarity. There are many paths before you but you can see clearly which ones lead to the same old negative BS and which ones get you on an express escalator straight up to a higher dimension. Trust that you're seeing things clearly and take advantage of it. Drop any guilt, sorrow, or cumbersome baggage from your past and sprint to those magical moving stairs, baby. As the hero of your story, you owe it to yourself to accept the call of the blissful future waiting. Oh, and not to worry. You'll get a whole new set of baggage later on. Here's the affirmation. I'm worthy of my highest potential. And I'm totally ready to live my best life. Just as soon as I finish binge watching this TV show. Now, that's you going on to your environment, which is the Empress New Ideas. Major Arcana number three. The Empress represents the quintessential feminine and she, in a very warm and nurturing tone, invites you to join her. Her life is all about connection to nature, enjoyment of sensory pleasures, and a general appreciation of all things soft and compliment worthy. She also signals a time of fertility. If this doesn't apply to you biologically, then it's time to get out the craft basket and nurture, AKA put glitter on something creatively. Whatever you do, the Empress will be right behind you, probably braiding your hair. Here's the affirmation. I open my heart to the beauty that surrounds me and actively engage with it however I can. And moving on to your hopes and fears, which is the Seven of Swords. It's your hopes and your fears. These swords are sharp and pointed warning about deception, betrayal, and sneakiness of any other flavor. Be sure to read the fine print on any snake oil you might be tempted to buy and seriously bet any others you might want to promote to significant. If you yourself are tempted to go behind backs to get away with something, here's a tip off. You're not gonna get away with it. Consider the cookie jar booby trap and choose to do things the longer harder, much more honest, and ultimately fulfilling way. 
Align with integrity and face all your issues head on. Your strength of character will earn you a karmic cookie. Here's the affirmation. I am unconditionally honest and expect the same from others. But keep your unsolicited advice to yourself, please. Now going to your outcomes, the two of wands. So we might, you know, it's time to take a journey. More fire energy. You got a lot of fire in your chart. Make sure you guys go look it up, earth signs, and see if you might have some fire in your chart. Looks like you've gotten the ball rolling and have an idea of what you want in life. The two of wands is telling you to kick it up a notch. Time to turn those vision boards into bullet journals and get going in the ways that feed your success, progress, and overall world expansion. If you already feel like a power player, make a power play and shatter your comfort zone. Sail around the world, earn an astrophysics degree, take a button making workshop at the weird little craft store. You get the picture. The world is your oyster. Now pull out your oyster shucker and get to shucking. Here's the affirmation. I aspire to be the best I can be. And right now, that means setting goals, taking actions, and quite possibly waking up before noon. All right, so come on, Earth Signs. Let's just go ahead and get into this reading. Something has got to crumble. Whether it's your job, it's a relationship, it could just be your mindset that you're, you're working with. You have to, it has to crumble. And you've got to start meditating because everything that you want is inside of you. You've got all the money that you need. You have got to stop worrying about the small stuff. Stop focusing on being without. Because to me, what I'm getting from this reading is that you're focusing so much on being without that you're trying to do whatever you can to get it. Just know that if you're trying to undercut somebody or if you're trying to hurt someone else in the process, you will be the one hurt in the end. If you want to make sure that you continue to have your journey going in the right direction, you have got to hold yourself accountable and you have got to be the judge of yourself. And you've got to make sure that you keep your eyes out too because it could be somebody else that's trying to hurt you and undercut you. So just make sure that on this journey that you're on, you got to let your walls down, let it all crumble, but you've got to start meditating, Earth Signs. You got to start meditating. Meditation does bring answers. And hold yourself accountable. Make sure that you hold yourself to the highest standard of being as honest as you can be. And live by that. Stay true by that. Because that's what the Seven of Swords is telling you, which is your hopes and your fears. You know, someone could be trying to get you. Or you could be trying to get somebody. If you're out to get somebody, just know that you'll never get to where you truly want to be with that two of wands. So you just have to make sure you, you judge yourself and hold yourself accountable for your actions. All right. Stop beating yourself up. Get out those clouds and just know you are doing an awesome job. Okay. Thank you, Earth Sign, so much for coming to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube, Camille in the Lion's Den. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, too. It's lions underscore den underscore tarot. And you guys, let it crumble because you have what it takes to rebuild. You just got to make sure that you're honest and hold yourself accountable. Have a blessed day.